Hello everyone, I'm Jose Delgado, I'm a corporate commercial attorney. Uh, we do dabble in some uh, divorce matters, which is the, our topic today. What happens to my property on the event of uh, my relationship souring and we end up in divorce? The first thing to actually consider is, uh, are you a owner in the property? If you're married in community of property, which is uh, a default way of getting married, there's no agreements, basically the parties will just get married. Effectively, you and your spouse each own a half of the property and the property will always be registered in both of your names. On the event of divorce, with this type of marriage regime, you own half of the property, so that's pretty simple. On your divorce, you're entitled to 50% of the property or the net proceeds of the property if it's going to be sold. In the event that you married and up your contract, that means What's yours is yours, what is your spouse's is your spouse's. And if you're married ANC with accrual, what uh, accrues during the course of the marriage is going to be split equally other than assets that are particularly excluded in your antinatural contract. So time to go and scratch that document out and uh, see what it says. But pretty much if you're ANC with no accrual, it means whatever's your spouse's is your spouse's. They're entitled to the property if it's registered in their name. So be cautious in the event that you are living in a property or you presume you have title to a property, your divorce may result in you being evicted on the event of the, the separation. Alternatively, the property may be sold and you will not get any of the proceeds. So ensure you understand uh, what your rights are relative to this property that you live in with your spouse to ensure that on the event of divorce, you know exactly what's going to transpire. Of course, that is uh, what would uh, happen in the normal course. In many divorces, there are settlement agreements, and even though you may not be the owner of the property, you may find that you are going to actually be uh, getting the property or taking chance of the property through a settlement agreement uh, on the event of divorce. But that could be after a lot of um, acrimonious, hostile boxing in the, with your attorneys in the high court. So before you go down that route, make sure you know exactly where you are in terms of ownership. If you married ANC with accrual, Again, you are not in a position where you automatically are the co-owner of the property. So if your spouse has um, acquired the property in their name, it may only entitle you to half of the growth. So the ANC with accrual system pretty much works like this. On the death or the divorce of the parties, the accrual kicks in and the party whose uh, estate has increased by more than the other must give the other 50%. So taking a property in isolation if you've bought for X Rand and it is appreciated to Y Rand, you're entitled to the differential of the net proceeds. But of course, there are issues like mortgages to consider. Is it the right time to sell? There could be capital gains taxes. Again, ANC with accrual, you're not automatically entitled to 50%. So again, make sure that you are fully cognizant of um, the ownership aspect if you um, want to ensure your rights and the property are secured.